a day is going to come on earth look at me ladies and gentlemen i'm sure it will not be very long from now we will wake up one morning like every other day don't you think you are just going to hear bah. no if you didn't hear it and you are remaining it means you didn't make it look up let me teach you something laugh but take it serious because it will happen it's not a parable let me tell you what will happen the bible says in a moment in a twinkling of an eye please blink your eye for me that's it that is how fast it will happen repeat it again have you ever had an event so miraculous and so sudden it didn't say in five minutes in a moment a twinkling of an eye an event will happen on earth that has never been recorded billions of graves will open in a moment loved ones some of them you have never seen them all these people these missionaries that died inside holes water all kinds of places you would see a glorious transition that resurrection and the bible says we who are alive and remain in a twinkling of an eye it will look like we're all going together and we will wave this version of earth goodbye with all the nonsense and all the wickedness and the fuel crisis and all the trouble that keep plaguing people on earth rejoice only if you are saved because i'm about to tell you the other side of the story listen carefully the bible says in that moment i don't mean to scare you but please listen to the other version the greatest catastrophe more than world war ii is what will be happening coincidentally because when about 2.6 billion people professing christians exit this earth in a moment what if the person exiting is the pilot flying you what if the person exiting is the one responsible for some nuclear plant somewhere you think they will wait for you no i mean what i'm saying that moment just like this and that's it you will see bibles on earth you will see him books left in churches unfortunately there will still be many people in those buildings and they will say what has suddenly happened the bible says two people will be lying together one will leave and leave the other one there others will be grinding their thing to go and cook for their families the other one will say no more issue of cooking i'm on my way going and you will see that glorious exit we will wave this version of earth goodbye do you know why because of the power of his resurrection at that point death will no longer have power over us we will not live by blood again no the reign of living by blood ends the moment that trumpet sounds the ministry of blood in our lives would have come to an end we will live by another life the reality the fullness of the earnest of that expectation that that ministry of the spirit the culmination of that salvation experience happens and we are with jesus and let me tell you this i don't mean to scare you it is that catastrophe on earth that will lead to the ministry of the antichrist are you seeing now the chaos in the earth will be too much there will be a need for a religious and a political leader to bring the earth in peace because the chaos will be too much nations and governments will crumble overnight and a world leader will come and say find peace his intelligence and his acumen he will he will bring a level of peace that you cannot imagine and with that peace the bible says for a period of about three and a half years and then he will unleash hell hell that will make world war ii look like humanitarian services i don't mean to scare you this is the word of god it's called written judgment no prayer warrior can change it
all over the world and even in this place you are listening to me the resurrection is God's determination to see that we never end up in eternal damnation celebrating Easter by just eating chicken and jumping and saying whoa I'm happy is a complete waste of that that event the ceremony of it is not where the power comes from it is the commemoration of it the commemoration of it means that you take to heart the significance of it someday Jesus is going to come when we all rise and this life is over as we know it no more banks no more universities no more oil and gas no more certificates no more going to the mall to buy anything all the terrorists will leave them there i don't know who they will attack everything you've been trying to hide in your house you're about to go and leave it the pit you dug in your house to hide money you will leave it there as you go can i tell you i hate to be a bearer of bad news but some of you as you are now you are not going i'm not a prophet of doom it is by the integrity of god's word there are people who will laugh at us when they hear us say these things as though we're just doing some spiritual gibberish can i tell you everybody in hell is a believer the only difference is that they believe too late i don't want to scare you with all the eschatological realities that will happen after this first flight that all those who do not make this first flight let me tell you what will happen the bible says because of the torture and the persecution that will happen that people will go to the mountain and beg death this death you are running away from now people will look for it and death to say my ministry is over mm, i've not I'm, i can't people will beg death when hell and everything to be unleashed will be unleashed now listen please i didn't come just to scare you nor did i come to flatter you and lie to you paul said that i may know him and the power of his resurrection some glad morning when this life is over I'll fly away when I die hallelujah by and by I will fly away can I tell you this the question I want to ask is some of you will be on your way going and you will look down and you will see your biological mother behind some of you will get up and you are already that power of resurrection is already in you but you will turn and see all your siblings they will say what is happening and you have to leave for many people it will be a service like this maybe it will even be a koinonia service just when i'm about to pick the mic and say hallelujah the only thing you will see is your mic dropping on the ground the fact that you can see it means you are in trouble <laughs> can i tell you please look up by the privilege of god's grace and by reason of what i do i'm not a medical doctor but I have stood before many dead bodies in my life. Many. I've been in a mortuary. I've been locked in a mortuary. Every time I look at a dead body, two things come to my mind. Number one, every dead body also saw a dead body in his lifetime. And now he is that dead body that others are looking at can i tell you this 
money will not resurrect you education will not resurrect you tithes and offerings will not resurrect you mm -mm. there is only one basis for the resurrection because he resurrected jesus he's given me the basis to know that in life and in death death has been defeated spiritually and will be perfected at that last trump why did i come to teach you today so that as you celebrate easter you only celebrate if that power of resurrection has been deposited in you by reason of acknowledging the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus and placing your faith now you can celebrate you can enjoy and know that i thank god for what has happened to me ladies and gentlemen for a long time we heard that jesus is coming soon and for many people they are laughing coming soon two thousand years there are two ways jesus comes soon he comes or you go the day you leave jesus has come for you let me repeat i'm not scaring you you will live long but can i tell you even if you live 120 years which is the benchmark we're giving you can stretch through right but i assure you by god even lazarus who jesus raised still died everybody who was raised from the dead still died so it is not just the physical living in this body i am the resurrection and i am the life you can hear this preacher preaching and just laugh and say wow he's preaching well on that day when we leave this sermon will be behind to teach you don't give your life to christ under cruelty of the wickedness that will bedevil this world when we are gone do you know what it means for the earth to be pitch darkness the bible teaches that the evangelists that will remain when we are gone are the jews because everyone who names the name of christ will be gone and it is only some of them who although they came from abraham do not believe this truth they will now go back the bible will suddenly become the bestseller after rapture everyone will be looking for the bible to check what else will happen we laughed at this group of people laughing at them and saying they were wasting their times everybody will pick bibles free and have to read and they will find it there people will cry and wail and say god come back they'll say no this second one it will not just be by you dying and going the trumpet has sounded it has sounded go and read your bible and see the torture that is going to happen to people on account of the antichrist thrown through fire going through all of this that you cannot buy or sell until you receive that mark on your forehead or on on the, the side of your hands and those who escape they will go to the mountain and say fall on us and it will not come the only way out will be matayadom now you have a chance a cheap chance towards jesus i'm not scaring you it's not a lie it will happen there is no point sugarcoating it ladies and gentlemen it will happen the bible says if our hope is only in this life we are of all men most miserable for jesus to leave heaven and come and pay that price he knows what is at the other side of that disobedience my call for you tonight is are you going to allow the work of the cross his death his burial his resurrection to just waste like that because of stubbornness and rebellion remember the first thing that happened to man was disobedience and the first thing that happened to satan was rebellion do not allow a combination of rebellion and disobedience to separate you from him eternally there are people who have been martyred because of this gospel church history is full of men and women who died believing in jesus i can tell you even in death 
they cheated death my precious and wonderful mentor miles munro sadly he died through a plane crash it was so disheartening why would he die through a plane crash until i realized that he always said it that in death he would cheat death it is only your body that goes can i tell you this those who die huh few minutes before their actual death they don't feel any physical pain again you are the only one sympathizing with the pain of the body i can tell you this few minutes to their death the power of this body and the pain thereof does not hold on them again no matter how deteriorated the body is that transition is happening unto life eternal or unto eternal damnation please look up let me tell you this anybody who dies without jesus there is no repentance again there is no forgiveness again i repeat there is no repentance again it is painful but there are people who have died there is no record in scripture that from the time jesus died and resurrected anyone who died had the gospel preached to them in hell that happened before jesus resurrected remember lazarus he cried a cry and said please what i want you to do is let somebody from this place rise up and enter the world and go to my family members and tell them please this thing is real and hear the reply he said they have moses and they have the law if they don't listen to them even if somebody comes out of the grave today they will not listen to them you don't have to wait until a dead body resurrects and tells you it is real here and there there are people who have resurrected from the dead others have seen nonsense what they have seen we know from scripture that that thing is not it's not a revelation from scripture at all it's just divination they were deceived but there have been genuine encounters of people for this promise is unto you and to your children and listen to me don't sit back there saying i'm happy i'm glad i belong to jesus if you are the only one who lives out of a family of 200 people and you are the only one who lives you never got to tell them about jesus you know in church sometimes we're afraid of saying this other part because we say we don't want people let me tell you this being saved and being prepared for the resurrection is more than just trying to scare you jesus said when the spirit comes he will reprove the world of three things of sin of righteousness and of judgment i've not been to hell as a revelation so i will not come here and say oh, i was mm, i've not i've seen demons i've seen all kinds of wicked spirits but i've not been given the privilege to go to hell to see it but let me tell you the truth the lake of fire even hell is real believers at easter god mandates that we take a review number one of our lives and our destinies number two we become active intercessors for those who are not saved because let me tell you the catastrophe that happens when the church leaves even your arch enemy you will not want him to go through that kind of thing believe me i told you that the catastrophe that will come to earth will make world war ii look like humanitarian services